Eminem has destroyed his legacy and the way how is heartbreaking. Now when you think of rap music, the first person many associate with the art form is Eminem and rightfully so. In the early 21st century, Eminem broke new ground for hip hop. He came onto the scene firing out some of the most polarizing yet also most beloved albums in hip hop's history with the legendary trilogy of the Slim Shady and Marshall Mather LPs and of course the Eminem show but as time went on, Eminem's god status in the rap world faded away to the point of no return. When we look at Eminem's career, while most people would tell you that he had been declining ever since his legendary run, he still found a ton of success in years to follow. 2009's Relapse is considered a cult classic amongst M fans, and albums like Recovery and Marshall Mathers LP2 were smash hits commercially, so despite modern Eminem not being as boundary pushing or artistically focused as he used to, people still embraced his new work until he made one fatal the state. After taking five years to release another album after the Marshall Mathers LP2, the hype for a new Eminem project rose to an all-time high and once the Detroit rapper announced that his ninth studio album revival would be a socially conscious record about the current state of our world and the legacy of his own career, people were beyond excited for this new project thinking Eminem was going to reach new heights but once the album released, the worst happened. From all of the album's features being pop singers to lackluster and lifeless performances from Eminem filled with lyrics like this, yeah! people rejected everything Revival had to offer, trashing it as one of the worst rap albums of all time. Everything Eminem promised about this experience was nowhere to be found and what fans were instead left with was a generic pop rap album with some of the grossest lyricism you could ever find. Lifelong fans felt betrayed by M as everything they once loved about him had vanished. The once charismatic, off the wall, and eccentric bravado Eminem brought to the forefront of a song was all gone, and instead, we were left with a version of Eminem that felt so lifeless and hollow. From the annoying cadences and staccato flow that made all of his verses feel so off hinged and so unbearable, to the cringy wordplay and gross storytelling, almost every artistic choice Eminem made on this album backfired, and people did not hold back on how much they hated it. From big name artists like Tyler the Creator talking about the album to fans and critics alike destroying every bit of this thing to pieces, there was truly no one who had something nice to say about Revival. Now as the months passed and fans had some time apart from the disappointment and betrayal of Revival, the hate died down and while the album was still considered to be terrible, people held out hope that Eminem could redeem himself. Nobody wanted one of the most legendary rappers in the history of hip hop to go out on an all time low and with hip hop's DNA being filled to the brim with iconic comeback albums, people hoped and prayed Eminem would be the next MC to reclaim their throne and once again sit on top of the rap world. On the night of August 31st, 2018, not even a full year after the release of Revival, many people thought we were finally about to get this moment when out of nowhere, Eminem released his 10th studio album Kamikaze, but as the cult Culture listened to this scorching hot surprise record, it was clear that Eminem was gone beyond the point of no return. While Kamikaze featured the same provocative and lyrically driven Eminem that his old albums thrived because of, the project lacked the self-awareness that made his original trilogy of studio albums so iconic. As soon as you listened to Kamikaze's first song, The Ringer, you saw that Eminem was not trying to redeem himself after the failure of Revival by self-reflecting and evolving, but instead was pointing fingers at the current state of hip-hop, blaming everybody else for the terrible state of his artistry and the rap world at large. With lines like, Full Magazine could take staples out, and Savage but ain't thinking about no bank account, just in the first few bars of Kamikaze, Eminem was already taking subtle jabs at new school MCs like Vince Staples and 21 Savage and from here, each diss would only get a lot louder and a lot more childish. From mocking artists like Playboy Cardi to passive aggressively dissing Lil Yachty, Eminem name dropped new age rappers like these amongst many others to push the narrative that every single new rapper besides Kendrick Lamar, Jake Cole, 
Big Sean, and Joyner Lucas, which really, those are the four you picked? I get Kendrick and Cole, but Big Sean and Joyner Lucas? Adding insult to injury, Eminem did not just lash out on all of hip-hop but those four, but also told listeners we were too stupid to appreciate Revival, which really? We were too stupid to appreciate this? Now, beyond Eminem's disses, when we look at the motivation behind doing this, the reason Eminem was throwing out these jabs in the first place was because he said that he was fed up with the new direction hip-hop as an art form and culture were going in. With the rise of trap music and more rappers being focused on melodies and production over lyricism, Eminem's whole reasoning behind doing this entire diss was that these new artists are disrespecting the lyrical foundation hip-hop was built off. Now, to give Eminem the benefit of the doubt for a second, let's just say he is sticking up for the rappers who came before him who prioritized bars over everything. I guess I could see some sort of point, although I still disagree despise the execution, but once you hear the song fall on Kamikaze, this entire claim that Eminem is trying to save hip-hop from mumble rap falls out the window as what we learn is the dark truth of why he is doing any of this in the first place. On this song, Eminem decides to diss Tyler the Creator by calling him the F-word, and in addition to Tyler, he calls out Earl Sweatshirt, an MC who is seen as one of the best lyricists of the modern generation by many, so let's get this clear. Now, I do understand that Tyler the Creator didn't have nice things to say about Revival, so Eminem was also attacking him for that. But if the basis of Kamikaze was to defend the core of hip-hop from mumble rap, wouldn't Eminem want to uplift lyricists like Earl Sweatshirt especially, who have honored the aspects of rap that he values quite deeply? Beyond just Earl Sweatshirt and Tyler the Creator, who has been a juggernaut redefining hip-hop artistry as a whole, let's also remember Vince Staples got attacked in one of the first lines of the album, and he is one of the best storytellers in modern hip-hop. So by seeing Eminem diss rappers like these, in addition to the entire SoundCloud era and the trap subgenre, you can see just how rotten this man has become. Eminem does not care about saving hip-hop or sticking up for its lyrical roots, he is simply just trying to deflect the negative light off himself and push a bigger, more threatening narrative around the future of the genre that made him. The reason why Kamikaze forever tarnished Eminem's legacy for a lot of people, including myself, is because it exposed who Marshall Mathers truly is in the present day. He's no longer a charming artist who can make a truly thrilling experience, but instead has become something so ugly and hateful. Eminem is a shell of himself, and he knows this, and this is why the only thing left for him to do is to deflect and attack his peers and attack his listeners. Every time Eminem raps on this album, it feels like he's preaching to you from a state of denial, from a state of bitterness, and as a result, his performance in a lot of ways feels more intolerable than it ever was on Revival. In an era where his contemporaries like Nas and Jay-Z are thriving, releasing records that showcase their maturity and are also working on music with a ton of new age rappers, Eminem is hating on everything new in hip-hop and handing out the same immature insults he did years ago but without all of the charm and self-awareness. Beyond just Jay-Z and Nas, there are so so many other OGs in hip-hop celebrating the new generation as well. From LL Cool J to The Roots, so many of the most iconic hip-hop acts of all time celebrate and uplift artists like the ones Eminem has attacked. So if the pioneers Eminem has claimed to be sticking up for have no problem with the expansion and evolution of hip-hop's artistic scope, why does Eminem? Even now where he's released an album like Music To Be Murdered By, which definitely redeemed him some bit, especially as he worked with names like Juice World and Don Tolliver, with a song like the one he just released with Easy Mill titled The Realist, I still can't figure out his edge as he sounds so hateful towards the current generation of hip-hop fans and artists. Every time Eminem hops on a track, there is an apparent bitterness that you can just feel through the words he is excreting, but beyond all of the problems he wraps into existence, you can see that the only problem is truly himself. While Eminem will never admit it, he knows artistically he is a shell of himself and he can't accept this, so all he does is talk down to everyone around him. It's truly tragic that Eminem's legacy is going to be remembered in this sour light because if he just embraced his age and the changing musical landscape just a little bit, he would be able to do something beautiful, I'd imagine, but as it stands, it seems like all he continues to do is weaken and dilute the power and prestige his name once held. As we look at the sad decline of Eminem and the self-destruction of his legacy, it's clear that no matter how high of a pedestal you are on, 
you cannot try to fight Father Time. It's one thing to work within the same musical style that made you successful 20 years ago, but to attack a new generation of rappers for doing things a little bit different than you did is not just corny, but it represents the fragile state Eminem's own artistry is in at this point. Since coming back onto the scene in the late 2000s, something about Eminem's new music has just always felt off. Whether it was the strange accents on Relapse or the overly poppy approach of Recovery, it always seemed like Eminem was dipping way too far in directions that over overall soured the remaining products of his greatness and as he's gotten older, it seems like he has completely tipped over in terms of both his vision and skill set. In an era where a ton of hip-hop legends like Nas, Jay-Z, and Black Thought have proved that you can dominate in the rap world at any age, Eminem has only continued to destroy and diminish his legend status with every aggressive, erratic, and uncalled-for attack on somebody else. In a competitive and diverse playing field like in hip-hop, to stay on top, you either have to accept your age or accept the current era you are in, and with Eminem failing to do either of these things, his legacy will forever be tarnished as he slips further and further away from the GOAT title many put him in the conversation for at one point. With all Eminem has done in his career, from his prime to his fall, I want you to let me know in the comments right now, where does he rank for you all time? And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that subscribe button, it helps me out a ton, and it is free to do. Thanks for watching, your support means everything. Mr. F, Fantastic Hip Hop, signing out, catch you in the next video.